Wait a month on that. Sorry, what's the hardest part of this job? It's fucking getting too much. Yeah, it's really poor. I missed it too. Yeah, they were left alone from last night. I had Haley here and all of a sudden major singing. Hmm? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. No school. Uh, just, uh, I'm going to call the meeting to order. Kim, I'm going to read the okay. notice. Adequate notice of this meeting was given in accordance with the Open Public Meeting Act. I now schedule the Council Committee to the express time for the next time of the Chinese paper. Posting a copy on the Council Bulletin Board and filing a copy of the Council Board. All right. Let's do it. the United States of America, the Trinity Republic, for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here. 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 The purpose of the meeting tonight was to have an open discussion regarding the Thomas uh, Thorpe Park and uh, potential hiring an architect to do some plans for the park. So with that, yeah. So in our in our last meeting, I had brought up that the open space committee was looking for approval from the town committee um, for not to exceed ten thousand dollars for an architect to design the pavilion and the um, concession stand. Um, a lot of questions came up from that meeting, and I didn't do a good job of answering them. So um, the questions we, um, were around possibly using a prefab pavilion and concession stand. Um, so we, we uh, held off on approving that. And uh, once that was relayed to the Open Space Committee, um, a lot of concerns came out of that from us holding it up because um, there's a good chance it could hold up the project itself. So I asked uh, Mark Fornicari sent a, uh, I hope everybody got his letter. Did everybody get Mark's letter? So Mark put together a letter of the concerns as to um, if we hold off on getting an architect, uh, what it could do to the project. So um, in order to keep the project moving, I thought it would be a good idea to have this special meeting to consider one more time if we want to move ahead with an architect. So Mark graciously, graciously came down to um, present his um, point of view on the whole thing. So um, I'm going to, if it's okay with everybody, I'll just turn it over to Mark and he can give us his reasonings why he thinks it's a good idea. And then Brad is also on the Open Space Committee too. So Mark, I'll just turn it over to you and you can give us, you know, your thoughts on the whole thing. Yeah, you can go to the podium. So basically in the letter I described the, what I believe the need for the architect would if not approved, would hold us back. Uh, basically, we have no objection on the Open Space Committee if the prefabricated capability is used. The question is the cost analysis of both. After talking with Mike Finelli, after my concerns, uh, we thought if we came up with a basic design from an architect, we can then use that to bid that particular custom building and then use those same plans to give them to a prefabricated company who could possibly make the same or similar building by using our original design. Kind of twofold. And then at that point decide if we wanted to go with the custom structure or prefabricated. The reason uh, on top of that that we were questioning was I had gotten a call from Mike Finelli and phase two is in the works of being I guess advertised for a pickup. Here's my panel. So to discuss, he called me to discuss some of the utilities. If we do not have a key structure to run the utilities to, we would have to redo the phase two bid documents that Mike has already prepared and put the labor and time into and remove those portions of that because we didn't have a central hub, so to speak, or a mechanical room to run those two. Uh, I feel that based on the park project, roughly a million dollar park, kind of foolish not to spend the, the six or eight thousand dollars to get this part of the phase done so we can adequately search for numbers of the true actual cost of a custom structure. I think we will be doing it, and I, I hope not speaking just for myself, 
we'll be giving both of those documents, both to uh, a bid portion to a custom contractor who can build some stick frame, so to speak, and also three manufacturers and see where those numbers come in as a whole. But without those key documents and that release of that money, I think that whole project that we talked up, we're talking months uh, at this point. If we can't get beyond that at this point. Um, the, you know, reading my letter, I tried to be as self-explanatory as possible. Does anybody have any questions for me? Yeah, I do. I noticed that the uh, resolution, which you may not have any to do with, yes. it says 15,000. Your letter says eight. And last month, we were told 10. ten. So, what, so, where, so, okay. So, the ironic part was the, the, the estimate we had gotten. If you look at the estimate, he has an estimate to prepare plans for a pre-manufactured pre structure and a custom structure. And that meaning the concession restroom building and the pavilion. I'm fairly confident that we may not need the money to do a custom building for the pavilion. Uh, we're awaiting the state to approve state <coughs> contractors to do that work, which means pre-manufactured cookie cutter type of pavilion. Many different sizes, designs, pick one of those and move forward with that. So I think the 10,000 was the number to do both. I thought eight was about an average number. Um, if it were to be 10,000 not to exceed, I don't even think we could do that. So that would be my take. Mike, did you have any thoughts on that? No, the uh, work is the more Yeah, you sent it to me through email. Right. Yeah, I mean, he has four for the one and six for the other one, and so that came up to ten. So I put fifteen in the resolution just to have a not to exceed number, but we so, change that. So I, I guess the other thing in the letter that I pointed out was keep in mind, even if you go with a pre manufactured structure or pre fabricated structure, there's still going to be design value that needs, that needs to be done whether it's engineering of the footing and foundation, the mechanical, electrical, and the plumbing drawings, whatever's going to be put into that structure, no matter what, you're still going to include costs, whether it's prefabricated or custom. The custom portion is an extra $2,000 essentially over what the pre-manufacturers. I think if I, if I, I'll just quote if I remember correctly, it's 6000 to do the custom structure, 4000 to do the pre-manufacturing. So the, the, the thought was if we could get, and that's where the 10,000 came on both those structures being done. So, am I correct by that, Mike, if you're looking at that? Well, he broke it down into, when I spoke with Mark Zagoda, <coughs> explained what he might be looking for and so forth, and primarily obviously the two buildings, the concession stand and the other. And then he sent me an email quote which was broken down according of uh, the concession stand was uh, for uh, a, let's say a designed concession stand built. His fees were 4000 for a prefab unit was 3000 That was just the concession stand. The pavilion Similarly, was six thousand for a design pavilion and four thousand for a prefab. So, so right. yeah, high the, numbers the high numbers uh, would be four for the uh, concession stand and six for the pavilion. So, ten was kind of like worst case, or I should say worst case, but ten was the upper end of his estimate. Now, speaking with Mark, uh, we really need his services more for the for the pavilion. Concession stand. Oh, yeah, right. The, the concession stand than the pavilion. So, uh, I guess, obviously, if you take one building out of the mix, then the fees go down, of course. So. The thought is for the phase two portion, get that out there to get an accurate number so we really know where we stand with the park project. The concession restroom building needs to be there to house the utilities. As for the pavilion, that's something that's a, a separate building that's not going to house any of those 
types of things until we would don't hold this up right now. We're hoping that eventually the state contract comes out. Uh, right now, it has not been released to my knowledge. I checked it out on March 5th, I think it was. So, the, the key point of this in the, in the letter was to get that restroom concession building underway, at least for a design value, so we can start obtaining numbers back from the bid to see if there's something we can even quantify number wise, right, Mike, where we can actually afford to do it. We might have to trim it down, you know. Uh, so where are we at? Do we want to keep that at 15 or where? No. Or where? Or where? <coughs> no. The only thing is, I say, I mean, if you want to lower it down, fine. But say if you do 10 and then it comes in at 11, I have to do another resolution, advertise, and everything like that. So if you have this not to exceed a certain amount, say if you say 12, then you have a little bit of a hidden or whatever. Are you comfortable with Mr. Zagoda's numbers? I know I am. I've worked. Well, and he's mentioned that he's worked. With Paul as well, with, with the at the emergency platform. Did you have, did you any overages or something that was an add-on? <coughs> kind of put me on the spot here. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. Um, Mark gave us a very, very reduced price to do a lot of design work for us. Um, but I also think that reflected in a lot of misses. Um, and I don't know if that's because of the reduced number um, and he wasn't able to dedicate the time to it. Uh, I mean, for the most part, it was fine, but there were some key things that cropped up in the contracting aspect that had to be changed on the fly. Um, would, <clears throat> would that prevent me from referring Mark again to him? No, but if, these, if he's giving you a reduced number here to to try to help you out, I don't know if that's in your best interest. If that's his real number, then I suspect he's going to take real time to do the job. So, and that would concern me. I guess what, what was the quote again for the concession restroom portion on, on the customer side? Four. Four. I, that's why I put in for eight for overages. I don't really envision us getting near the eight for that particular structure. I would feel comfortable if you were at the eight. Or if you just felt to go down to 10, we would, we would try to keep this in line as possible. It's whatever you feel as council, but I just, I'm just i looking to get some some of the design value or some of this money that we can use for the open space fund to get that. Right, and just to reiterate the urgency on this, right? So the next step is to get the plans for phase two out so we, to bid so we can get some real numbers. Because we're going to have to decide, we're going to have to decide how we want to fund phase two. Mm -hmm. And how much it's going to cost. And until until Mike can get all these final details done and put it out to bid, we're never going to have those real numbers. So I think that's one of the reasons why Mark saw an urgency here is because this is an opportunity for us to get a concrete number, essentially, with whatever we can in that phase two document. They're already prepared because that's how we move forward. Now we're going to actually pay to undo if we don't go through this process. Um, I just think it's, it's a sensible path without expending large amounts of money in a large project so we know where we stand. We discussed this pretty much last time when we didn't do it, we sent you back to the prefab. Is everybody pretty comfortable with that? We know about this already. Is everybody comfortable with up to the 10 if we do that? I mean, rather than really prolonging the discussion that we really are, we've already had and I think you pretty much had and I think 10 I mean because it, it, we're looking at 4,000 I mean, right you're, now you're the one who's really good right? you okay with 10 you want to keep it 15 what, what, what? I'm okay with 10 I mean it's not to exceed doesn't mean we're spending 10 right I mean the, the goal is to spend 4 uh, I, 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 I got to admit from the open space side Brad and, and whoever's here I mean Frank's part of that too we're trying to be as frugal as possible. We're not trying to. Be well, we were, were pretty much in agreement for the 10 last time. Then we go out about the prefab, and that's how it got sidetracked. So uh, I agree with that. I mean, it may be the option. It, it right. really very well may be the option. But I think if you were to look at as a price comparison, you have nothing to compare it to if you right. look at the custom side. Right. And there's still a design value that's involved anyway for the footing and foundation, right. which could be used right. for the prefab. So some of the work will all be out of the way. You don't have to pay twice for it. You then we can then go back to open space board and then put part of our projection of accurate numbers prefab versus custom. 
they may be cheaper, they may not be cheaper. We really don't know, but we need to at least exhaust those avenues to make an educated decision. And we really got to get our hands around how we're going to fund phase two. So we need to get these numbers. Well, um, I'd like to hear what everybody else's opinion is first before. I mean, well, after you get the second, we'll have this Oh, okay. All right. Um, do we want to go for the eight that Mark recommended, or do we want to go for the ten? I mean, if you, think eight is, if you think eight is a safe number, then I'll just go with the eight. So I'll, I would just do a not to exceed. If you guys yeah. feel eight, if you so, think ten is fine. Just do the 10. All right, we'll do the 10. All right, so I'll make a motion to um, approve not to exceed $10,000 to hire an architect to design the concession stands for Thomas Stewart Park. I'll second. And that's resolution that's right. 2017 40. Yeah, 40. Okay, that price. Okay, discussion? Anybody have any comments? Yeah. Whatever they want to. Well, I know, like, doesn't don't necessarily need to be in this discussion per se, okay, but, okay. but uh, and obviously this is going to be included in the number. Uh, <coughs> Mark, his first step is going to is going to need to be the township, whether it's the subcommittee, the open space committee, or whomever it is, sitting down with him and saying, okay, right now in the plans, every plan that's been developed to date shows a 20 by 40 concession stand. That's the way the project was designed and so forth. Now, that's not anything cast in stone, per se. I mean, but I think that's what we, we looked at, which would facilitate, obviously, the cooking area and the two bathrooms um, and the serving area. So, but there's a lot of details associated with what we're putting in this building, which he's going to need to know, uh, down to, you know, what kind of we doing epoxy, Flooring, or you know, there's there's a lot of different ways to build this building. So somebody's got to whether again, whether it's a subcommittee, it's, I'm sure it really makes sense that a full council committee doing it. Got to get together. I'm sure I, some fellows from the open space committee, but that would be step one. So I mean, we, we need to start really honing in on okay, well, what do we want? You know, so just a, just a passing thought, just a plan to see. I mean, my thought would be to just want to do the arrest committee. I, I would also want to see the rec committee on that, too, because they're the ones that are going to be using that. Well, I, can, I know he's on there, but, yeah. I can just add a little information. I guess the intention I had was, and I talked to Mike, Mike a little bit about this, mm -hmm. was kind of make a subcommittee, the OS committee, the space committee, and then whole council members, what they think building should look like and the amenities that someone would have. Try to put all the all the wants and needs into it and then put a plan together to come back to you and show you before we actually move forward. I mean I don't have any preconceived notion on how it should look. But My I recommendation, I'm okay with that's a good idea to have like the subcommittee out of the OS and then you could present it to us as a as a first Some viewing and then we could comment on it and if we wanted to add something to it. I mean, the whole idea is to make it have you know, this role character because it's, in, you know, it's, a, it's an open space project, it's green acres funding, plus, you know, you want it to look farmy or rural. Right. For the city. And that would be my only suggestion, really. And, and that's it. And kind of maybe give you a conceptual, a visual, 3D visual of it to say, is this something you're thinking? When it comes down to color, I, it doesn't bother me. I don't know how everybody here feels about that, but. I think that is a good idea. We get a couple guys off from the Open Space Committee mm -hmm. to work with Mike and the uh, architect. They present it to the Open Space Committee. The Open Space Committee says it looks good, and they bring it to us, and uh, we, you know, we can make our comments then. I don't know. But to me, that sounds like a workable um, way to do it. I just think doing the work ours, so back to the cost issue, doing the work ourselves between us and being open and honest about it, transparent, mm -hmm. when we go to him to sit down, as close to one shot as possible instead of, uh, you know, including more cost for design value. Mm -hmm. Do it one time or no more than two times. To repair some things after we have comments. That's one thing. One time, hash it all out. So you do, what do you think of that process? We have a subcommittee yeah. do it, present it to the OS committee, and then present and it to then, us. If anybody wants, I mean, I'll meet with these all individuals if you want.
Yeah, anybody, anybody has the right to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And where is REC in all of this, too? Because I think they should certainly have some input as to the interior of this building, which are going to have some design implications. Well, we got... Okay, so what, is Mark... Uh, what's Mark's Mark final record? I'm the president and vice oh, president. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. President of REC. So you're, you're open space and REC. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do the same. I'll, I'll try to be, you know, whatever the subcommittee is, and if I'm on it, I'll, I'll do a poll of, of my members, some of which are here. And then you, and we'll, we'll kind of be the middleman and try to translate both those ideas together and try to make a, a functional design. Mm -hmm. okay. And then the numbers are going to come back to us because we definitely have to watch what's going on here because the original number for this park is starting to exceed what it no, it's should be. No, it's not yet. But we're yeah. in, but the phase two is the big question. That's where I right. explained Once. to you guys, right? And, and I, I think Mike's right on that. We've had that. Frankly, we've discussed yeah. that. Until, two is where we're at to see what we can do and can't. And, exactly. and to Will's point, that's exactly what's going to happen. The They're going to present it to us, and we're going to determine if it's too costly, and if you think we need to cut something out of it, and that's so, that's our determination. Right. Okay. Uh, this, the, I feel this is the luxury we have with the Phase 2 portion. is not what we did have on the Phase 1. Phase 1, we were just, we didn't have time to bid it out and, and really belabor the issues of, that was the need. The earthwork had to be done. <coughs> now you're talking about add-ons and add alternates, which we built into Mike's Phase 2. Add alternates seems we can extract see, features, right? So we can, then we can look back at our fundraising options and see what we can do and help pitch in to finish some of the other some of the uh, the plans. Okay. 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 Anybody else? Any other discussion on this resolution? Roll call? Yes. Yes. Spencer? Yes. 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 Uh, yeah, the only other thing I want. I don't know if I'm getting some inquiries because of what to read about what's going on in Salzburg Municipal Building and stuff, but we just briefly touched on our last meeting about the old school. Where are we standing with that, or with the RFPs? And until we RFP. discuss... You have me my copy? Yes, sir. Uh, Some people you. are starting to question what's it going to cost between the... If there's a, a mildew issue, a mold issue there, asbestos issue, a sewer issue, we're basically going to have given the building away, and I think people are starting to worry about what's this going to cost the township compared to. I touched on last time. We might need to get some some idea. If people ask that question between the RFPs and, and the possibility of, of uh, demolition. Well, I can't address the demolition, although I could get a number in a heartbeat because a friend of mine who lives in the in town is, is a demo contractor. Uh, uh, but the, the demo option aside, which clearly hasn't been, hasn't gotten that far over. Yeah, I know. But, it's, been discussed. Yeah, but, but it's, been, it's, been, it's coming up, I think, because the people are reading these other yeah, stories. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, here's I brought a couple of copies of the RFQ. Uh, basically, the way this is set up, it's it's. To the paper, it's, the schedule is such that um, the walkthrough on <coughs> site inspection by prospective bidders at the end of this month. Uh, deadline for questions, again, from the prospective bidders, the respondents. Uh, April 5th and submission April 18th, which is a few days before the April committee. The thought there was that you know, we, would, we would, obviously the township would receive one, five, ten, you know, response, responses. You guys could take a look at them, digest them. I get to one of my two cents for the recommendation. And then I would suspect we want to look at uh, a couple anyway to probably bring in for an interview, which is also out there. It, it's really, we've, we've structured this that we've given them the history of the building, we've given them the, 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 the good parts of the, the uh, situation and the site. We've mentioned about some of the problem areas 
Um, and then talk about integrating it into the community, uh, a viable use, their, uh, their financial ability to do the project. Um, we do have in here, we, we say on a number of occasions, fair market value. Now, I know that's really maybe not where we're going to go with this, but like one thing at a time. I mean, uh, so with all that as just a little background, uh, you know, I think if, if we get at least two, three, four respondents, you know, hopefully, um, you know, we'll, we'll get some different ideas. We'll get some different programs. We'll, we'll have a couple things to kind of chew on and digest, and hopefully one kind of rises above the others, and we say, okay, we want to hire, uh, you know, John Smith's redevelopment fund, or whatever it is, to but, convert the building well, to a... To Bob's point, though, when you're asking them for these bids, I mean, they, they're aware there's asbestos, there's a, a, a septic issue, sure. there's, they're aware well, of all these things? Issue specifically mentioned. There, at the at the site meeting, I would there's, there's mold. There's, <laughs> there's 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 mold, asbestos, and lead paint. I mean, and lead paint right. and septic. However, no oil yeah, well, the septic is in maybe yeah, quite yeah. an oil the, tank. The, the septic and the, and the oil, yeah, the oil tank. Uh, I just want to make sure that they're aware when they no, give no, you no, a no, give no, it away. No, that's good. Uh, <laughs> that, that's that's yeah. here, here's the. Um, yeah, that's why I'm saying it. But I want to have an answer. I've taken a number of people through the building over the time. Years. And to my surprise, because this is not my field of expertise, they they could care less about. I mean, I really, and I like they really. It didn't phase them in the slightest relative to the asbestos and the lead paint. Like it's a non-issue to them. That's just part of the, you know, no big deal. The oil tank is, uh, is always been the albatross of that site, I think. And that's still, you know, we got it 12 years ago, as you know, from ADS, Dave and Eddie. Um, and we almost were going to take it on ourselves, but it, it never happened. Um, well, that's something we'd have to take on ourselves if you want to demolition it, right? So... Oh, yeah, well, right. You can go right. No, that's true. If you do go that yeah. route, that's right. And yeah. it is or you just leave it in there, but then, of course, then what are you going to do with the, with the site? It's still there. Um, so, the, the mold, I can't speak to, uh, really, but the mold has gotten progressive worse. Who, who inspected that and said we have, was it black mold? Somebody, black mold. Some, somebody given an official... There. Has there been an official inspection well, of it? You looked, right? Yeah, I, was, I brought it to the area. Yeah, that's right. The mold, there's like the, the, the avenue for mold, just because it's black mold, doesn't mean that. There's way too many possibilities there. But yeah, like, the mold, mold kind of scares us. The thing with that building is that I, I brought it right there to come to buy it to turn it into eight podiums. Um, previous cancer. And they were ready to the trigger. The only thing was the oil tank. And, and if I could explain that to you as a council, is everything you can see, you can do. Even, even the set that you can prepare for the worst, the oil tank you can't. It could be 50 grand, 80 grand, 100, 200. You don't know what the extent of the leakage is. If it is a leak, you can get lucky and it'd be $2,000 without a round, you're done. But it's the unknown. That's the major unknown. They can, most people deal with asbestos, <coughs> lead, mold, it's all good. You know what they're prepared for. The unknowns they were attacking. At that same time, I think they were looking at the other house up here, and, and that's when they asked my recommendation. I said, they had oil tanks, they're just in the same position all, all the year. Well, here's another question that I had to have. If, if, if we do award someone with this RFQ, did, and if we did a song, I don't remember what we said about it. Are they going to have time limits when they have to get it done? Because I don't want somebody getting working in there for three months. They're like, figure out they don't have enough money. They're going to sit for another 10 years while we fight with them on whether they're going to finish. Well, uh, the way I would perceive this moving forward, Bob, is we, 
we get a response, and I don't want to use the bitter term because this is this is kind of the flip of what we're used to with the public contracts law and <coughs> supporting contracts and so forth uh, to contractors such as Earth works with you know the FCRC. Uh, we we would we would go into a contract with them, and there clearly would be time frames and uh, completion dates and and liquidated damages provisions. They have to perform and so forth. So, you know, there's a way to cover that to a degree. I mean, you, you just hope that it yeah. moves forward and hope you know, that it doesn't get to be cheaper to fight with us than it is to the product. The project. Yeah. project. That's what we're going to end up. That's well, what their decision. It's going to be a business I, decision. I, is it better off for me to fight with them at this point than to finish? You know, that, that, I don't. I don't want to get into another. Right. And that's then we won't be able to do anything with it because we'll be tied up in litigation for 20 years. That is unfortunately the world we live in, isn't it? Um, yeah. And also, real quick about the SEP because it's been mentioned a couple times. And this is on a, on a positive, I'd say. A number of years ago, we were going through this process. Uh, and we went out and did some soils tests and in the back of the park, in the parking lot in the back of the building, and got the health department out there and explain the situation, and we we got the health department to agree. It's got to be six, eight years ago now, that they would allow the septic to be constructed in in the in the parking lot, and it could be paved over. And because of the soils, we actually have soil test results. We actually reference in, in the R2 were K4. Uh, if anybody, that that is a highly permeable soil. That's a, that's a good number, a good designation. So we've calculated that uh, you can install up to a 2,000 gallon per day system, which is the most you can do without a special permit from the DEP. Once you go over that that 2,000 GPD threshold, we get into that. Many? WA permits. How many people would that handle? Well, that would handle eight apartments. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that is, you know, so it, not not to dismiss the septic as a non-factor in this, because it is, uh, but probably low on the scale okay. of problems. Even now, if somebody you, went with professional offices or something like that here, obviously oh, be like much less. Uh, Did the county put that in writing for you, and that's still valid and running? Uh, boy. Well, I would, I it's not really going to matter, really. They're going to get their own person to test it anyway, right? It doesn't really change. matter, right? Mike, is there? But what the county might have thought was legit yeah. seven, eight years ago may no longer fall legit either. Right. Well, well the law has changed between 12 and 13, too, so. I don't well, all I'm saying, is, I, I guess the only thing I'm worried about is having an answer in case a bunch of people come in here and say you're giving a building away. I, I, you know, I think I think we got to have numbers on both sides, what the what they're proposing and what. It, how how long, Mike, is this going to be out for? Like, when's the close? A month. April 18th is when we. Uh, when is the budget going to be submitted in? Okay. Because uh, we have to, uh, we might have to make a decision if we don't get a good proposal that we may need dollars in the budget if we want to tear it down. Tear it down. Yeah. I'm just saying. You want to say that? Yeah. Uh, well, I think again, I think well, I'm hoping. Uh, look real quick. The, the April committee meeting. Well, the one is, you know, we have these couple days ahead of time. Obviously. Talk about it a little bit at the meeting. Right. That meeting, we're not going to That's fine. Right. Just, just one meeting. other thing on that. So, seeing that it's got mold and asbestos and lead paint, we, don't we currently have our town files in that building? Are they not getting contaminated? Oh, so that's that me. Yeah. So, I, we never really took action. I mean, uh, where do you want to put them? I don't. State, we're supposed to. has all our building department. When is the library getting built? Because they told us we could have room there. I think it's on the land use board for next month. I got an email from there. Yeah, because it wasn't online. I mean, if we have to, if we have to move it to the temporary storage facility on 22 for now, but I don't know. Do we have to decontaminate it? I have no idea. Huh? Storage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're talking about. They know what they're saying about bringing it. I should decontaminate.
I, I, yeah. I just think there's something I, I mean, may want to look into. I mean, if people don't think it's an issue. Get another bid it. for next week. Get, oh, get another bid from the storage place on 57. Because a we quote. Have, yeah, I got the quotes and everything. Then I don't think we should be letting anybody in that building if it's got those issues. Well, you have to wear a mask. Like I said, the commission has other things up there, too. And they don't want to My personal opinion is we shouldn't allow them in there. I wouldn't allow anybody in there. Right Mike, now. is there any way to test the soil to see if there's any leakage from it? Oh, yeah. Well, before no, they bring it all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, do it. You, you need a big hole. There is, Came but bore, it would be a big or? effort, and uh, you could mostly, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't <coughs> confirm anything until the tank gets taken out and mm. looked at. That's the problem. Mm. Okay. You know, and again, we got a good price on the tank, but that's that's you know, with no problems. Oh, right. Right, right, exactly. right, yeah. right, right. That, that, that doesn't tell you so what do we, like we know we're going to have proposals by the April, what was the date? You said 18th? So, I mean, so we're not going to, I don't think we should introduce the budget until we know this. Oh, this, the budget's got a while. Because okay. we've got a capital project, so we got to come up with the right, down exactly. payment for that. Right. I've got exactly. to give this book to the rec committee right. to pick okay. out a playground, but okay. I want to know capital. Enough. Enough. I only brought it up because, like I said, <laughs> there has been a spark of interest. <laughs> About those issues, I, I'm assuming it's because you know, there's so issues. much in the paper lately yeah. about holding the public buildings, oh God, the cost of the building. Do it. Like we did last year with that We're going to make one. You know, this is a, you know, I mean, and that's really optimistic way to look at it. But we're going to be selling this building, and somebody else is going to be doing all this work. So. You know, best case, and again, sounds great. Well, it's best case. <laughs> I don't want to be talking with you Mike, three years about saying, I was having the phone with their engineer, and they're not going any further because. I Mike, <laughs> do they know what they would be paying in taxes if they renovated it? Like, how does that work? We've got to have the well, building fed. That's <clears throat> what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. That's part of their due diligence. Right. I mean, that's obviously. They've got to submit a pro forma. Of the of the whole project to us. That's part of the requirements. That's part of obviously what we're going to look at and review. You know, and, and if if you get some real companies and players in here to do this, this is what they do, and they'll give you some good numbers, and you'll see what's going to work. Or we're going to make. Do we want to take action, think of start getting moved out for for the next story? Well, I asked Kim to get us a bill. Oh, I mean, I don't know. Right. And I think you also need to see if there's a decontamination issue besides. Yes, yeah. so you just can't take this stuff yeah, yeah, right, somewhere right, else. Right, yeah, right. Because it's going to go somewhere else. Right. It, it's not a. Right, right. You take a power blower. Take a power blower right, 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 around right, right, it, yeah. Right. But um, uh, uh, do we want to allow people in that building? That's my question. I go in there. I have to go in there. And Mike is in the same situation. Yeah, he has to go into the building. Yeah. No, I was just in there. I've never worn a mask in that building. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been in there for a long time either. But, uh, you have to wear a mask. Yeah. That's all. Sign a waiver. Well, yeah, sign a waiver, but and there's no attorney here, but they'll tell you how good that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. I'll drop it. Okay. okay. Yeah. But before we did I get them? But we're going to have some issues with that. Well, we can bring it back up again, but maybe right tonight, let it settle. I mean, you brought it up, so I was agreeing with you. Maybe by Thursday you could. Uh, yeah, Mike, if you have any ideas on the uh, decontamination, I hope you hear anything. Or well, because Mike, don't you have to go in there for uh, the zoning? One of the garages. Isn't that where that is? Well, there's things that you need. Yeah, they go in. Well, probably more. Right, right, right. Well, that's where the environmental. Yeah, you got to get the site plan. That's right. I think we should move it to the temporary storage until the library is built. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think we have to. But. Like he, he raised a good point. Are you going to be able to move it? Oh, I thought it was if the things are up there and stuff, then build out that don't do that. All right. I didn't go to the county. We go to the store. We were going down. No, but I, I'm not following. When are we yes. going? Yes. He's right. We did talk about that. Oh, if going the, the fire department moves down there. Oh, yeah. Maybe that. Yeah. Right. Well, that could be a couple of years. Right. I think a couple of years. I think we got it. Well, I don't think we're going to get that couple of years. years for the the on, uh, on the computer. Well, that's another thing. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Like for a disaster plan, like putting stuff on the cloud? I think that's a good idea. I think we should have a company look at that. I can't even believe it's like this company. The attention schedule is make us keep it. Yeah, but I mean, like, you know, like the whole thing about the cloud and all Okay, let's move on. All right, yeah, public comment. We're going to open up for public comment. I'll second that motion. Aye. You made the motion, right? Yeah. Okay. Anybody in the audience wishing to come up and speak? Step up to the podium. Seeing none, motion to close. Second. Aye. Aye. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Anybody making a motion? To oh, hold on. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> this is awesome. And I know, again, this was just out of time. This is a meeting. Mark. But it says any other business. Okay. Well, this is part of the meeting, actually. Mm -hmm. I mentioned the last committee meeting um, about the letter to the county about the speed limit, the speed study, and the passing zones and so forth. Mm -hmm. We got a letter today that says they're waiting for that letter. So I don't know. I know I've handed it out. So I'm just he signed concerned. It was seven weeks yeah. Oh, really? I signed it last minute. Uh huh. Yeah. They don't have it? Well, I'm going to get to the second item, which is... The resolution? No. Well, that's... Yeah. That's I got there. the resolution. That's going for this meeting. Thursday's meeting. Th next yeah. week, yeah. Thursday. The resolution. Okay. Here, here, here. The There's a letter I got to today yeah, I from the county. Yeah, I keep... Well, went to Cam, I'm stopping. Uh -huh. It says, additionally, the county has not received correspondence from the township as outlined in their review letter. Blah, I have blah, a copy of it. To I'll evaluate the speed limits in the passing zones. And we please forward as soon as possible. What's the date of their letter, though? I mean, this letter's March 8th. Yeah. This, yeah. This, literally, I got this today. 16th of February. Was so, it that long ago? I spot, no, didn't I just sign it last week at the budget meeting? I think I just signed it last week, the budget okay. meeting. So they might have passed the letter. I sent it out. So okay. we couldn't have been All right. Out. I don't know. Okay. Good. Well, then maybe, you know, hopefully they got it. Then yeah. done. That's the. Okay, that done. I'm going to fax it. I have a copy. I'm that's, one, it that's one thing done. The second thing is what this letter is about, basically, uh, which we got today. Once again, I was copied. And this is nothing more than is one of the administrative items I mentioned that we have to take care of. Um, our acknowledgement and agreement via a resolution, they've given us, they've given us a sample to be 100% responsible for the flashing pedestrian crossing signs that will be constructed as part of phase two along the county road. Again, because it's primarily because of, obviously, you got the bike path on the other side of the road. You're going to certainly have people crossing Greenwood Street from the bike path to get to the park. I mean, you are. That's Luckily, after they're installed and everything. Though. We're only taking them over after installation and, and the work is done, correct? Well, the maintain, not the I believe is they going to be part <coughs> of obviously in the contract for phase two. That's part of what's the phase our phase two improvements. Phase phase two, building side, um, is just so to put things in perspective a little bit. The, all the county road improvements, which have to get done, the paving. At least the main, the driveway and the main parking lot. Um, the walking path. Those are the three, and the landscape. Those are like the four kind of big items that constitute space to uh, the buildings, obviously, which will be determined how they're going to fit in and whatnot. Um, so. So just uh, FYI, that's something you have on the agenda yeah, for next I, year? I spoke with the mayor and oh. Craig. <coughs> one of the questions they asked me, though, is for those lights, can they be solar powered? They're, they are solar Okay, I thought so. I, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I thought, I, I, thought I heard that. That's why I asked that. Here's, I don't care. I don't know if anybody's going to look at this. These are the phase two plans that we took. Well, they're probably 90% <laughs> ready to go out to bid, with the exception of what we got hung up on, which is pretty much caused this meeting that about the buildings and the utilities and the electric loads and the water and blah blah blah. So and that here's one other thing just from a logistical standpoint which I think we need to do. Uh, the way it looks now is that Jeff and Earthworks will be almost done with everything, topsoil and and seeded in a 
maybe a month or so. You know, there, he's looking for mid-April or so, which is a great time to do that. Jeff's crop contract does require the, the installation of the water line, not the connection. So the line gets run from Greenwich Street back to where the concession stand would go. Okay. If he's going to be seated, we need the ability to have water because we, we need to water the grass. Uh, I mean, getting some good germination and stabilization out there, especially in the field areas. Especially Was that all? Did you all figure that in in the initial? <clears throat> well, well, no. That's where I throw going. Not the... Uh, there, there's... What do we call them? Not fire pipes. There are water wheels. Oh, you mean the yard yeah. hydrants? Yard hydrants, thank you. Yeah. There's a couple yard hydrants that we're specking out to be installed as tees off, obviously, off the main for the ability for these irrigation reels, which we intend to use to water the fields, uh, to be connected. I, I think what we should do is we should add it to Jeff's contract to have him install these yard hydrants now so that we have water out there. Uh, I mean, it's, I, I don't know any price. I certainly haven't talked to him about it yet. But, you know, if we if we put that into phase two, you know, it may not get who knows what it's going to get done. It may well, not. If you had a guess, well, how much? It would be much at all. Yeah, we have a little bit of a pressure for the So, can you get a quote for us for, for yeah. next Thursday? Sure. So yeah, yeah. And, and then we'll, we'll decide. Yeah. Maybe a couple thousand dollars. All right, just yeah, to, I mean, to the I don't want to say not just, just, you know, right. One other thing while you're running out of the park. So, I know we talked about installing the sewer line from the firehouse into it. Into, um, yes. Um, we spoke with Joe. Yes, about, I know. Uh, yeah, no. Joe. So that's out. So. I am. Oh, okay. Out. All right. No, no. I, I have heard what the head and I have. Yeah, it's out. I mean, we. Yeah. All right. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. Are we good? Uh, motion to adjourn. Anybody? I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I said, oh, it'll be five minutes. we got to vote my mouth. She knows by now. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. I did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brad, just don't lie to your wife like I just did tonight. Oh, it's only going to be five minutes. Come on. You shut this off? Oh, no, no, no.